Hey y'all, once again, I have bought it so that you do not have to. Let's pop into yet another new unit from the Sensational Bear Lace Collection, honey. Welcome back to Half Bake Hair Reviews. I'm Angelique, and once again, I'm coming back to you guys with yet another new unit from the Sensational Bear Lace Collection, honey. I'm wearing this unit in the style 13 by 6 unit 4 in the color number 2, so let me just pop right into the specs of this one. So as far as the construction of this unit, you do get your two combs in the front, your one comb in the back, and your adjustable straps. It does also come with an adjustable elastic band. It is pre-plucked. You do get that 13 by 6 new bear lace parting space. And it does also come with baby hairs. Now, as far as the construction on this unit, of course, since this is their new collection, there are a couple key things to note. So when it comes to construction of the cap, you are also going to get a silicone band that goes around the perimeter of the cap. So as far as the lace is concerned, you are going to get a 20% larger grid, which is supposed to mimic more of a natural scalp effect. It's 40% thinner lace, shows more skin. It dissipates light for a non-reflective matte finish and it's stronger reinforced tear resistant lace fiber this is listed as a glueless unit and what i'm seeing so far from all of the units that i reviewed from the bare lace collection i haven't been able to wear any of them glueless honestly even though i do feel like that silicone band or silicone grip that goes around the perimeter of the lace definitely does help making it so that the the wig's not moving around and stuff on you just the cap size itself is on the smaller side which is why i feel like i'm not able to wear it glueless but nonetheless, let me just continue popping into the specs of this unit. So you guys, this one is super, super, super long. It's at least 27 inches. I'm 5'3 for reference. And honey, when I have it all thrown back, it absolutely goes to my butt. So this is definitely a long hair. This is definitely a long hair, don't care type wig. This is definitely a special occasion wig. This is definitely not giving everyday wear. So let me just stand up and show you guys exactly how long it is. Because girl, it is long. So as you can see guys, this is where my belly button is. The hair comes just probably below my belly button. It is very, very long. As far as the density is concerned, this one definitely is very natural density. So it's no more than 130%. I think if you were to say 150%, that's definitely pushing it. It probably looks like it's more dense because the way that the curls are. And depending what style you wear it in, like you do get more of that volume vibe if you're doing like a side part or a middle part. You're probably going to go through and end up finger combing the curls out some while you're just trying to part it and figure out what style you want to wear. So the curls definitely have dropped and I feel like that's taken away from the illusion of that super full looking density. Even though I do like the look of it, I just really, really wish that there was some more density on it. Now, as far as the texture, I am kind of feeling the texture, you guys. It's definitely not all the way yakky. It's not silky either, though. It's kind of like a mix of a very slight relaxed yakky with a little bit of silkiness to it. So I'm really not mad at it. Another key thing to note when it comes to the construction of this unit, they did a very, very nice job with the cap so you're not going to feel any tracks or anything like that. Like I noted about the cap size, when it comes to the cap size of these units, I'm noticing that these are not necessarily going to be big head friendly. My head is 22 to 22 and a half inches in circumference. And this one specifically, I feel like it's fit in my head pretty good. It wasn't too much of a struggle to get it on and lay down the way that I wanted it to. But if your head is any bit bigger than mine, I absolutely would stray on the side of caution when it comes to picking up any of these units. Because like I said, I feel like the cap is definitely going to be on the smaller side. Let me just show you guys the hairline as well. I typically don't go in with my blow dryer and apply it all the way down because I'm doing consistent reviews. But for this one, I did just because I wanted the blend to be as 
nice as possible. Going in with the blow dry definitely did help adhere it down more so I don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding back. The thinness of the lace I feel like is is definitely apparent and clear. As soon as you take it out of the box you can tell that the, the lace is definitely thinner. Um, the lace is definitely more white in comparison to the What Lace collection so just be aware of that. I did have to go in with my lace tint spray in the color dark brown underneath and just pack that bad boy on there. Let it dry and then I also did need to go add concealer as well on the outside and I'm liking that I'm not getting any ghosting. This definitely was not a throw in and go type unit for me. Luckily out of all the ones that I've reviewed so far this one was the easiest but like I said it wasn't throw in and go. It just didn't require as much work as the other ones when it came to laying it and having it sit the way that I wanted it to when it came to blending the lace down. I normally would wear a dark brown stocking cap underneath and that was peeking through so what I did is I just went in with my wig cap liner things. Y'all, I just took the stocking cap off and I just have this mesh wig cap liner with no cap on top of it. So it's just the wig liner. And I feel like it's doing a really good job. You're not being able to see it peeking out or anything like that. But I'm really liking the blendage of this with this mesh wig cap versus just like this with the stocking cap over it. So I really am liking that. So let me just pop right into the cons and the pros of this unit. My cons are gonna be just the the whiteness of the lace like i said i was able to work to make it work but um i think i may have waited on picking these units up if i realized one of the key selling points was going to be the fact that they say that the lace is whiter than the lace collection so that's probably one of the like downside slash concerns that i have about it and then another uh con that i'm going to have is just going to be the cap size in general like i said you can definitely make it work for yourself if you do have like small to medium sized head, but I feel like the bigger your head is, like I said, if it's bigger than 22 to 22 and a half inches in circumference, it's gonna be an issue for you. And of course, the bigger that your head is because the cap is, is smaller, you're not necessarily gonna be able to take advantage of doing like a glueless install, which is another reason why I decided to pick these units up because I've been all about the glueless units lately. But unfortunately, I have yet to be able to wear one of these new Sensational Bare Lace wigs glueless so that's unfortunate but like i said it still is workable so let me just pop right into the pros of this unit um the pros are definitely going to be the hairline like you guys see i normally do my swoop right here but i didn't even do the swoop right there the way that it's plucked is very nice the baby hairs um baby hairs they didn't do too much with them these are pretty long as you guys can see i did my little lazy girl swoops because these are kind of like long so i just was like whatever I didn't want to cut them down and do all the extra, so it just kind of swooped. Hairline is very nice, very well pre-plucked. I really like the cap construction itself as a whole. Like I said, minus the fact that it's not bigger. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but the cap construction itself and the upgrades that they made to the cap, I really, really am a fan of. I really do like and appreciate the fact that they added that silicone band around the perimeter of the cap just to give you that extra security so you're not worrying about it slipping inside and back. I definitely am a fan of that. I really like this look. The quality of the hair isn't anything too crazy and that's another trend I'm noticing with the with this new collection is like the, the hair quality is not necessarily the biggest selling point. Their biggest selling point is going to be the new cap construction as well as their new lace design. So definitely something to note you guys if you're picking up these units hoping that the hair quality is like super high up to par that's not going to be the biggest selling point. It's going to be the cap construction itself as well as the lace. So like I said the hair is not trash. I'm not saying the hair is trash at all but it definitely is giving special occasion hair and honestly I feel like even if you were to cut it down it's not going to last super long because the hair quality is not super up to par. So far this one probably feels I think the nicest to me in my opinion. I would probably pick this one up specifically again just for like a nice holiday look or like a nice photo shoot or something like that. Something where you're just trying to step out and be cute and you know you get a little bit of time to get it together get it installed and, and have it set how you want to set set it before you actually go out. This is probably one that I would pick up again because I really do, I really like the look, I like the versatility. Um, like I said, the texture is pretty cute. The curl pattern is cute. It's like not doing too much, doing just enough. And the hairline is given everything that it should be given. So I really am feeling this, I'm feeling this. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit. I hope you guys found this video helpful, honey. If it was, just make sure you give me a like, give me a subscribe, comment down below in the unit you want to pick up in any other colors. And until then, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.